We're about to experience a unique moment in human history. Tomorrow, October 21st, 2025, something extraordinary will happen, and at the same time, something terrible. Atlas, our third visitor from another star system, will finally reach the hottest point of its journey around the sun. This should be the moment of truth, when all the secrets of this mysterious object would be revealed. But instead, we're gonna completely lose sight of it. Imagine you're about to watch the most important movie of your life, and right at the most exciting part, someone's gonna turn off the TV for six weeks. That's exactly what's gonna happen to scientists around the world. Starting tomorrow, for six crucial weeks, all our telescopes, from the simplest to the most advanced on the planet, will be completely blind. And it won't be because something broke, it'll be because the sun itself will be in the way like a giant flashlight drowning out a distant candle. But here's what makes everyone nervous. If something wanted to change direction without anyone seeing, this would be the perfect moment to do it. And the latest information we got before going dark? It's absolutely shocking. Before we lose sight of Atlas, scientists made discoveries that left everyone stunned. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful machine for seeing space, made a measurement nobody expected discovered this object has eight times more carbon dioxide than water. To understand how strange this is, it's like finding a person who drinks eight glasses of soda for every glass of water per day. In normal comets, water is always the main ingredient, like flour in a bread recipe. But in Atlas, it's the complete opposite. It's like someone made a cake using mostly sugar and almost no flour. This difference is so huge that scientists use a special expression, six sigma deviation. To give you an idea, it's like finding a person who's 10 feet tall when the average height is 5'7". It simply shouldn't exist. But it doesn't stop there. When observatories in Japan studied the cloud around Atlas, which is like a temporary atmosphere that comets develop near the sun, they found something even more bizarre. There was a lot of nickel glowing, but almost no iron. It's like finding a mine full of gold, but without any iron. Geologically impossible. In nature, iron and nickel always go together, like twin brothers. Now, let's talk about why we won't be able to see anything starting tomorrow. When we say Atlas will be behind the sun, it's not like being behind a tree where you can walk around and see. The sun is like a giant spotlight that will illuminate everything around it for millions of miles. Imagine you're trying to see a candle, but someone's gonna put a stadium spotlight right in front of you. Even if the candle is just a tiny bit to the side of the spotlight, you won't be able to see anything but the blinding light. That's exactly what will happen to our telescopes. The sun is so bright, it will create a blind zone of more than a million miles. Anything inside that zone will simply disappear from our sight, and it won't help to try different tricks. Telescopes that see normal light, telescopes that see heat, even radar, nothing will work. It'll be like trying to hear a whispered conversation in the middle of a rock concert. The numbers are impressive. Atlas will be less than one degree away from the sun, as seen from Earth. To understand this, that's less than the width of two coins seen from far away. The difference is that these coins are the sun, a fireball of a million degrees. Here's what keeps scientists awake at night. This will be the perfect moment for anything to change course without being seen. Think about it this way. If you were a burglar, what would be the best time to rob a bank? Exactly when all the security cameras are down and all the guards have gone to lunch. If Atlas really is some kind of advanced technology and some serious scientists believe it might be, this will be the ideal moment to make any maneuver without anyone noticing. During these six weeks that are coming, anything could happen. The object might break into pieces, it might release gases differently, or even completely change direction, and we won't see any of it. It'll be like closing your eyes during the most important part of a mystery movie. Let's talk about something that's driving mathematicians crazy. The path Atlas chose to reach us. Out of all the trillions of objects floating through the galaxy, only three have visited our solar system since we started paying attention. The first two arrived from weird angles, like planes flying way too high or too low. But Atlas? It arrived almost perfectly aligned with the plane where all our planets are. It's like it knew exactly where it was going. To understand how unlikely this is, imagine you're in a giant city and someone throws a ball from another country. 
the chances of that ball landing exactly on your street are one inch 20,000. Possible? Yes. Probable? Definitely not. But it gets even stranger. The timing of Atlas's arrival was perfect to pass close to Mars, then Venus, then Jupiter. It's like a cosmic tourist who carefully planned to visit all the main attractions. Avi Loeb, a respected professor from Harvard, has a theory that makes a lot of people nervous. He suggests Atlas might not be an ordinary comet. It might be a probe, a machine created by an advanced civilization that will be using the sun's gravity like a curve to change direction. If this is true, the maneuver will be happening in the coming weeks, hidden behind the sun, exactly when we can't see. It'll be like a magician doing the most important trick when all the lights are off. The only way to find out will be to measure Atlas's position when it reappears in December. If it's exactly where it should be, it's probably a strange comet. If it's even a tiny bit out of place, it'll mean something happened during the blackout. The test scientists will perform is incredibly precise. They're going to measure Atlas's position with precision equivalent to seeing a quarter from a thousand miles away. If Atlas moves even a tiny distance, equivalent to 30 feet per second of velocity change, normal comet models won't be able to explain it. Gas release, which is how comets normally change direction, is too weak and too slow to cause this kind of change. Only a deliberate and sudden force could do this, like the difference between being pushed by wind versus being pushed by an engine. The good news is we're entering a new era of space discoveries. Before finding objects like Atlas was like finding a needle in a haystack, it happened once every few years, if that. Now, with new telescopes that sweep the sky every night automatically, we expect to find dozens of these visitors every year. It's like the difference between getting a letter a month versus getting emails every day. Each new object we find will help us understand if Atlas is really unique and strange, or if there are many objects like this out there. In December, when Atlas finally comes out from behind the sun, we'll have our answer. If it's exactly where it should be, following all the laws of physics we know, then it'll probably be the strangest comet we've ever seen, but still a comet. If it's out of place, even just a little bit, then we'll need to rethink everything we thought we knew about visitors from other star systems. For now, Atlas remains a mystery wrapped in a cloud of gas, about to hide behind the brightest star in our sky. The only thing we know for sure is that in December, one of two things will happen. Either we'll breathe a sigh of relief, discovering it's just a very strange comet, or we'll need to rewrite the science books. The countdown has begun, and for the first time in human history, the answer to one of the universe's biggest questions, are we alone, might be just weeks away. Tomorrow, the silence of space will begin, and that silence has never been so important.